Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how we, myself, went up against the EPA, why you can't modify your car, why you can't have downpipes, and why tuning is dead. Hey guys, today's topic is gonna be for the people in the industry and how it affects you guys as well. It has to do with enforcement laws by the EPA, by legislation, and it's affected our mods and our ability to have some mods. You're probably thinking it doesn't apply to you, but it applies to everybody across the board. It's affected us, affected me, affected this company and it affects many, many other companies. It's a very, very serious topic. Why so serious? And I've advised a lot of companies actually. I, I do some consulting on the side regarding this, but I'm gonna give you guys some of the basics. 1955. That was a long time ago. Ow! In the US, the pollution was going out of control. There was a Air Pollution Control Act. Pollution was dangerous. 1963, we had the Clean Air Act, and then all of a sudden, 1963, we came out with the Motor Vehicle Air Pollution Act. This was good, but it didn't do anything to our industry, really. People kind of would circumvent it and so forth, and that's when you'd say, oh, this is for off-road use only, and so forth. What? I'm talking about things that are polluting the air, such as a vehicle or an exhaust or whatever it might be. That law 1963 enacted the 1967 rule that basically if you own a vehicle up to 1967, you don't have to get it smogged or anything like that. So you don't have to pay your annual smog fees or any of those kind of things. Yes! That's awesome! So which kind of makes it really popular in vintage cars so that you can modify them, do whatever you want, you can go racing with them. And you could drive them on the street because the law doesn't apply to you. All vehicles afterwards, things changed. This circumventing is saying for off-road use only. This started getting really serious. In 1970, we had the Clean Air Act. And then there was an amendment in 1977 said, hey, you can't put on just your website, oh, this is for off-road use only, or this is for racing use only. Why? That means that it cannot be sold at all. And that's kind of just been the way it was, and it kind of got ignored through the 80s, Didn't nothing really happened with it. And then we have some monumental things that end up happening. Obama, when he got reelected, one of his big thing was, I think he was 35, I don't remember the exact number, 35.5 miles per gallon was going to be the average that all manufacturers had to do and it was gonna be enabled and acted and so forth. And that got the industry scrambling. You had hybrids coming out and you had all these things happening at that time. Well, Volkswagen. Volkswagen, das Auto. The most famous case of them all, decided that they're gonna defeat emissions, manipulate their computer, and they could say that their emissions was better and that way they could qualify with it. In 2015, they got caught. They got caught for uh, defeating emissions. Well, congratulations! You got yourself caught! And that was the Environmental Protection Agency, the same one that goes after factories, that goes after different things that are polluting in the, in the water. They went after them. It was the maximum fine. Each vehicle, it was 37500 the new fine is higher. Total of $18 billion. That's 8.5 million cars in Europe, 2.4 in Germany, 1.2 in the UK. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. And only 500,000 relatively, I mean, it's still a lot, but relatively compared to those numbers, were in the US. And now the industry was affected. And we saw the residual of this happen. They are hell bent on going after everybody. They basically said, okay, we're gonna adopt the Air Resource Board. So in Los Angeles, small here is well was historically terrible and you can maybe remember some old movies when you see the pictures of them here in Los Angeles you can see the smog I mean I, I've lived here most of my life and I can wake up in the morning and I can see the smog it's gotten a lot better obviously it was a California Air Resource Board and everyone says oh that's carb and you'll see that on like an intake that you purchase and so forth. So what happens is, let's say you're a manufacturer, you make an intake or you make an exhaust or whatever it might be, especially in intakes and so forth. They get sent in to these agencies, they get tested and so forth. It's incredibly a long process for them to get it certified, typically taking three to five years. And now of recent times, it's even longer. They've got a major backlog and it's only causing more problems for the industry. The EPA says, hey, we're gonna adopt those practices and we're gonna be 
super strict now. That means downpipes are illegal. Tuning is illegal. Are you kidding me? You might be asking what the heck, because it hasn't been certified for emissions and tuning could also be defeating emissions. It's caused a major problem. Now, a lot of people are thinking, okay, that's only in California. No, EPA is a federal. So it's all 50 states for the EPA. It's adopted Air Resource Board. And Air Resource Board is already in like 15 to 20 different states, if not more at this time of making this video. The point is that you are susceptible. You as the end user, you as a seller, you as a manufacturer. It's a big topic. I mean, at SEMA, which is the trade show for the aftermarket industry, these seminars are completely sold out because everyone's trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Everybody got away with it. And a lot of people do get away with it. And they're constantly getting away with it. And they're getting away with it because until they build up a case. And then you think to yourself, as a consumer level, am I protected? No, 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 no! The only way you are protected is if your car is literally registered as a race car. That means your car cannot be driven on the street. It has to be registered with your DMV as that type of vehicle. It's a totally different type of registration. It has to be a true race car for it to be legal to have those kind of components. Again, like downpipes, O2 simulators. Uh, I don't even know why you would need it at that point if you're racing. Tunes and so forth. There are some companies, they do all the submissions. They've done it in advance. There's some companies that are fighting it. There's some companies that have made downpipes with race cats that do work. But again, the approval process, it takes for ever to get these things approved. And it's kind of killed off our industry. For us, on, on my side, yeah, we got visited by the EPA. Every single incident for you guys, just so you know, and for us, it's a $40,200 difference. So believe me, I've seen negative reviews even on our own website because we won't sell people these illegal parts, but we're also trying to protect you. If you get caught with it, it's a $40,000 fine to you. Have people been caught? Yeah, they have. Whether they posted their pictures on Facebook or whatever, they incriminated themselves. There are cases of it on different Facebook groups, car forums, where this has happened. And it's a big fine. It's not worth it. Are there modifications that add power and are carb legal? Yeah, there are plenty. There are carb legal tunes. There are carb legal superchargers. Uh, now, I will say this, being a, having experience, they don't know exactly what they're looking for. So you have to explain it to them and so forth. If that time comes, obviously there's a lot of lawyers. And to be honest, most of those lawyers, this is such a new topic. When we had to go through this with all the legal stuff, I ended up firing all our lawyers because all they want to do, like typical lawyers, they just want to ring up that bill and basically come in with a settlement. I was like, well, first of all, was, we weren't guilty. We had already enacted these things on our website we had made sure not to sell these illegal parts a lot of these lawyers and stuff or advisors want to say oh just pay me and they just drag it out and they have no idea first of all about the laws the situation there so if you guys do run into that situation there is a group of guys feel free to reach out to, to us in the industry if you really need to be careful obviously on that regard and that goes on to you as a consumer if they come after you long story short it's not worth dealing with this. It's a hard problem for us in the industry. Hopefully it makes us better. That education back to the government that, hey, these things are not defeating emissions and making sure that there's products out there that are well known. It's ticked off a lot of manufacturers. It's made a lot of shifting points in the past previous years. If you're another retailer or you're the consumer, you gotta be careful. And that's my word of advice for you. I know I won't be selling that stuff. And they do go after the consumers. So if that if you purchase from a retailer and they open up their books and they go through it, they will go after those people. It's pretty ridiculous, to be honest. I think they have better things to do and there's far heavier pollutants. I'm not saying that this is okay. I'm just saying that it's a difficult subject and it sucks. Guys, leave me in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. If you do know other people who are doing this stuff, share it with them. Feel free to write in the comments the items that you guys know are illegal or stuff that you've had issues with. I know of a lot of big major companies. I can name a few just like Heard Summit was involved, Vivid, and this is public information. So it's a, this never going on battle where the EPA comes in with their enforcement laws and the same thing with the Air Resources Board, but it looks like the EPA has become this suck money out of companies. Um, small businesses and so forth like our own and other people's just to get you know manufacturers and everyone else just to get more money out of them with these crazy ludicrous fines again guys i appreciate your time please if you haven't already click like or subscribe i hope you did like this video as always i really do appreciate you guys thanks again